I think the people who work at the state are good people, public servants. My family is dedicated to public service as well. I mean, I absolutely uh, believe that the state is wrong in its demands because they can't support it with the science. But what is also true is that fish do need more water. We do have to share our rivers. What we have found in a study that the state refuses to accept, I, I simply can't understand that one, because it's built on a previous study done by the exact same people, is that it's not about more water, it's about the wise use of water, smart use if you prefer. If we can be wise or smart about how we use our water, we can get a lot more benefit for the fish. On a personal level, I feel very strongly and very connected to my, to my job. That may sound a little strange, but the Modesto Bee is one of the oldest businesses or institutions in this community. We've been here forever, and I feel like it's part of my job to, to speak for and to the people of this community. We play two roles. The first is just getting the news out there. But we also have to connect the dots. And that's where opinion journalism comes in. Uh, we have to understand issues well enough, and we have a lot of really excellent reporters who do. No journalist ever gets everything right, uh, but we really try. And in this job, in this particular role of these particular stories, uh, it's, it's crucial because you're going up against a bureaucracy that has literally hundreds of people working on this issue, checking everything we look at, everything we do. So we have to try to get it right the first time. And water is one of those issues that is so enormously complicated that people don't, they often don't realize that if they see a lot of water going down that river, some of it, uh, none of it hardly at this point, would be used for agriculture. It's going to be used for something else. They don't realize that we do need fish in this river. So we have to help people understand that there are reasons to share, there are reasons to protect what we have, and there are reasons to be, to be passionate about it. People outside this region, they only have so much time to devote to this issue because they don't believe it affects them. So they take what they think is an, a, a trusted source, the state, and that's what they accept. Uh, I sometimes wonder if everybody here recognizes how important this is in their, their life, their lives. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're, if you're growing almonds or washing cars or writing for a newspaper or teaching school or anything else. This is connected to what you do and who you are. And making sure people understand those connections is an important part of what I try to do. This here, I mean, Stanislaw County, agriculture is around the $4 billion a year industry. And none of that is possible without water. If we don't have the water to maintain that industry, then uh, everything else suffers. It doesn't mean that if, if we lost the water here, we would cease to exist. But it would fundamentally change what our community looks like, the type of jobs in our community, how many people live here, everything about it. Yes, we could, uh, if, if, the, if the state commandeers the amount of water that they're talking about, 50% on some, you know, in some areas, we will have to find other crops to grow that don't require as much water. That means the most valuable crops that we're growing now have to be pulled out of the ground. There are people out there, well, too many of them, unfortunately, who, who believe that anything political is fake. I hear from them all the time. Generally speaking, the reason they call me, the ones who want to talk instead of just yell, is because we are covering topics like this. No one else is covering this topic like we're covering it. 